take things seriously next Nora. Okay, guys, so I have to grow up here and um, think what's important versus not important and watching television shows and movies online right now is not important. Reading that novel right now is not important. You know? Okay. Alright. So. One day I'm going to call Bowman and join us and ask him about the finances and everything for the insurance. Because I don't want to wait around, wait around and have my stuff wait and get excited about nothing. Yep. I don't know, I wouldn't be good. Oh, you're so cute, cute. I read in my diary. Oh, it feels like my back feels like it's been some my Sorry, my bad. I'm going. All right, I'm going. Ooh, classos. Bye, bye, bye. Exactly. Yeah. Austin's brother.
need to tell you about your future. Hey there. Hey, Summer. Dolores. Let me guess. Chicken Alfredo cheesecake with extra strawberries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, please tell me they have never ending breadsticks in 2003. Duh. Make that two of each, please. You got it. Olive Garden. <laughs> yeah. Wait, are we me and friends? My dad are gonna go I mean, I know I'm like to celebrate 40, him paying but off his loan. We're sisters. Oh, what day? I don't know. It's a bummer. We're born so late. Date, yeah. Oh. Are you an accident? It depends how I feel because you yeah. know I'm allergic to almost anything now. Oh, you are. Oh, they did have you, yeah. you also oversleep? <laughs> Yes. And I overslept. You're absolutely right. It's okay. So, any suggestions? You could take the next exit and do service streets. <laughs> you got it. Well, hold on. We're going to get out of this. He was using that flip phone. Don't you think? Yeah. Maybe. Hey, uh... I really love you, Pat. My I looked through my tablet before, but... Do you yeah. just want to take another look around, just in case? Yeah. Check the seat pockets. Have a really good look, okay? Look under the seats. You see it? I don't think it's in here. Wait. I think it feels like it. Tape under his... I think it's here. I never saw that video where your dad was telling you he didn't like your holy shirts and that um, you smell. I gotta find it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I don't think I'll have time to go through your storage today. Put it back in your mind. And... Yeah. Oh, no. I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. Gotta have this cool down. and how tired I feel. Oh my god. I never felt this tired in all my freaking ass life. <sighs> never in my life. I'm just exhausted. Like I could go on a sleeping safari, like sleep all the week away almost, you know? It's not funny, I'm so exhausted. Yeah, it's raining, guys. I don't know how hard it will rain, so if you see droplets on the window, 
glass. That's probably why, so. Anyhow, yeah, Mom, I am going to bed, yes, early. Because I am so freaking ass tired. As I was, like, telling Shaylee this, the Moxicillin could, um, be fighting off this bug for me. And it's just making me very, very tired. So, yeah. I'm going to take my pills now, like the, um, antidepressant, blood pressure, and for, uh, hydroprofen. Now I feel like you gotta poop. Oy, oy, oy. So now it's scaring me, that means either mom, I really have to poop. Yeah, so this means now, um, I'm gonna just listen to only two, and narrations only, and call it a night, so, I really am not feeling good, so, it's gonna be the end, narration after I, um, play that Link to word game, you know, where you link the letters to make word and, um, bingo blitz. And in about three hours from now, I'll wake up again and take the moxicillin pill, chop it up, and brush my teeth. I twenty one and thirty six. Be good. Round over. Alrighty now. Seriously now. Good night. And it's almost tempting just to crush the pill up and just take it right now, but it's not 12 hours yet. No, oh, well, I'll wait.
Every Halloween, my husband Devin turned our home into a walkthrough haunted house. Each room had a different theme, usually horror movie inspired. Our neighbors loved it. Every year, Devin planned something more and more elaborate. We were even in the local news a couple years back when we did that big Stephen King thing display. I've always enjoyed Halloween, but for Devin, it was a real passion. He spent most of the year drafting out plans and working on decorations in the garage. I loved that he was so passionate about something, especially because he never forced me to help. The rabbit hairs were microscopically similar to a German rabbit hair coat Tammy Brannan wore to that Christmas party. When Tammy Brannan was leaving the apartment, she told Melissa to get her fur coat. Melissa got the fur coat, and as a child will do, she draped that coat across her shoulders, and of course, those hairs from that coat, certain of them, transfer to her. Dietrich also discovered blue and red fibers on Hugh's front passenger seat. The red fibers were cotton, an extremely common fiber. The scene was disorganized, an indication that the killer was inexperienced and probably had never killed before. He came to the home with no intention of committing murder, but did so after some sort of confrontation or rejection. Since he spent so much time inside the home, Douglas believed that he was familiar with the victim and her routine and might be living in the neighborhood or very close by. Douglas said the killer was an unmarried white male in his mid to late 20s, high school educated with a sloppy appearance. The use of electrical cord to tie the victim's hands indicated the killer had... and his hair was messy. He kept glancing in my direction. At first, I thought he might just be waiting for a bus too, but then he started asking me which bus I was taking. I didn't want to engage, so I ignored him. He asked again, a little louder this time, but I just stared straight ahead. The street was mostly empty, and the only sounds were the soft patter of rain and the distant rumble of thunder. I felt like I was in my own little world, and I wanted to keep it that way. When he asked a third time, I turned my head slightly and told him to stop asking. It felt like a small victory.